welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today we're talking about breakfast, specifically the 10 best breakfast to consume every single day. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me and really lets me know that these are the types of videos I should be putting out here on my channel. If you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd absolutely love to have you. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday so you definitely don't want to miss out. Check out the description box down below for my custom meal planner. This is the last batch that I'm ordering so if you're interested make sure you head on over to my nutrition coaching website and pick that up before it's gone. While you're there, you can take a look at my personalized macro and calorie calculation. Absolutely essential. You have to know how many calories you should be eating every day to lose weight or maintain your weight or whatever healthy lifestyle goals that you have. You'll also find one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. So definitely take advantage of that one-on-one -on -one support as well. Links, discount codes to all of my favorite healthy things are also down in the description box. So check it out before you go. So we have the 10 best breakfast foods to discuss. So let's get started. The old saying that breakfast is the most important meal of the day actually has a little bit of truth to that. When we eat breakfast, we benefit in two ways, increased energy and we conquer a lot of the cravings that we'll get throughout the day. Eating a healthy breakfast, specifically one that contains protein, I always tell my coaching clients no less than 20 grams of protein with your breakfast, helps reduce cravings during the day. Then we generally eat less calories throughout the day, therefore we're in more of a calorie deficit or it's easier for us to maintain our weight with a healthy protein packed breakfast. Unfortunately, not all breakfasts are created equal. Things like sugary cereals or just having carbs or fats for breakfast doesn't give our body the sustained energy and conquer the cravings as much as a more well-balanced breakfast. So the 10 that I'm going to be sharing with you today are balanced in all of their macronutrients. So they're full of protein, healthy fats, and carbohydrates, and they fall within a low to moderate calorie level. Number one is a baked sweet potato with peanut butter and sliced apples or raisins. I know this sounds a little weird, but bear with me. This is absolutely incredibly delicious. Sweet potatoes are a great way to, to add healthy carbohydrates to your breakfast. Sweet potatoes are carbohydrate, but they're a slow metabolizing carb. So our body slowly metabolizes them, giving us sustained energy. This is important for those that are active. So if you're someone that works out or has your activity in the morning, sweet potatoes are a great way to start out your day. They're rich in potassium, vitamin A, and fiber. So they're a little bit of a triple threat. So when you pair those with a healthy fat, like a nut butter, you're getting in some extra protein and fiber in things like the apples. And then the raisins are giving you a good, healthy, naturally occurring carbohydrate. If you wanna really up the ante, add a tablespoon of Greek yogurt to the top of this amazing breakfast. Number two are overnight oats with chia seeds. Now the chia seeds are an important part of these overnight oats. Oats are packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals, so oats are a really good choice for breakfast. They are also a slowly metabolizing carbohydrate, and they do have some protein. Oats promote digestion. Now, chia seeds, this is kind of the diamond in the rough when it comes to these overnight oats. They're a source of healthy fat, protein, and an excellent, excellent source of fiber. Putting that all together makes it a nutritious packed breakfast, and they're super easy for on the go, or if you need to eat something quickly as you run out the door. Number three is a lentil breakfast bowl. Now beans, lentils, they're not just for lunch or dinner. They actually make a great meat substitute in this breakfast bowl. Lentils are a high quality plant-based protein and they have a ton of vitamins, minerals, and essential amino acids. They're easy to cook and they sustain your hunger up until lunch. Fry your lentils with some sausage, a fried egg, or a turkey sausage and make a delicious breakfast bowl. Top it with your favorite cheese and you have a well-rounded protein and fiber packed breakfast. Number four is a quinoa bowl. Now quinoa is an absolute superfood. It's a nice complete carbohydrate and protein. It's a great substitute for oats. So if you just want to mix up your breakfast, you can make a quinoa breakfast bowl rather than overnight oats or oatmeal. It's a great source of fiber, iron, and potassium, so it definitely helps keep you fuller for longer. It's a super versatile grain, so you can pair it with things like fruit, vanilla, 
cinnamon, you can do a savory quinoa bowl or a sweet quinoa bowl. For a little bit of added healthy fats, top it with your favorite nut or even again, a dollop of Greek yogurt. Number five is a savory oatmeal bowl. So we talked a little bit about a sweet oatmeal bowl. You can also do a savory oatmeal bowl. Oats contain soluble fiber, so it definitely helps regulate your blood sugar. And again, gives you a lot of vitamins, minerals, healthy carbohydrates, protein, and sustained energy. When you have a savory oatmeal, you can really bulk up the vegetables. So add some of your favorite vegetables. I love to add zucchini, carrot, celery, all of those are really good to add to a savory oatmeal bowl. Try adding sweet potatoes, spinach, and roasted pepitas. You can even top it with an egg. Absolutely delicious. Number six is a kefir smoothie. If you're in a rush, a smoothie is a great way to go. You can even put all of your smoothie ingredients together the night before and then simply blend it up and take it out the door. Kefir is an excellent high quality source of calcium. It also contains a good amount of protein and probiotics. Very different from traditional milk or nut-based milk. Kefir is going to give you a good dose of probiotics. Blend it with your favorite nut butter, your favorite fruits, or even some flax seeds and you have a delicious on-the-go quick, easy breakfast. Number seven is one of my favorites and that's avocado toast. I'm a big proponent of having healthy fats paired with protein and carbs in the morning. It's fast, it's filling, and most importantly, it's absolutely delicious. Choose a whole grain toast or a sprouted bread for a little extra pack of fiber and protein. Pair it with a protein source, whether that be eggs or some meat, ham, turkey, bacon, top it with that egg and sprinkle a little bit of everything but the bagel absolutely incredible. If you're looking for a plant-based version, try black bean salsa and hemp seeds, another great way to have avocado toast. Number eight is a tofu scramble. So sometimes it's great to have a meatless meal, or if you're vegan, vegetarian, or plant-based, tofu is an excellent choice and it's packed full of protein. You can add your favorite vegetables, herbs, and spices to make this scramble absolutely incredible. Another thing you can do is pair it with some beans and fill a low carb, high fiber tortilla up with this mix and make a delicious plant-based breakfast burrito. Number nine is one of my other favorite breakfasts, and this is a Greek yogurt breakfast parfait. Greek yogurt contains more protein than traditional yogurt, therefore it makes it more filling and satisfying. Try to choose plain Greek yogurt. Also try to choose full fat yogurt, as full fat dairy has all of its nutrients intact, so it's a better option than low fat or fat free versions. Top it with your favorite fruit, whether it be fresh or frozen, a little bit of your favorite granola. I love Julian Bakery granola. It is low carb, low calorie, low point if you're following WW. I'll link that down below for you guys with the discount. Purely Elizabeth makes a great granola. Just fill the layers of that yogurt parfait with good healthy foods. You can even add some chia seeds or some nuts for some healthy fat. And number 10 is whole grain waffles or pancakes with fruit and nuts. Weekends are a great time to meal prep or whip up a batch of waffles or pancakes. You can even freeze these, just let them cool completely so that they don't stick together when frozen. Make sure you're using a whole grain protein packed mix for your pancakes or your waffles to get in a little bit of extra nutrients and vitamins. So instead of reaching for your sugary options, your syrups or your whipped cream, try to pick some better, healthier options to top your waffles and your pancakes. Things like Greek Greek yogurt, nuts, and berries are great additions to pancakes and waffles. So these are just a handful of great healthy breakfast ideas. You notice a pattern. All of these contain a healthy fat, carbohydrates, and protein. That is what you need in a breakfast to keep you full and satisfied and to regulate your blood sugar. When we're consuming a high protein, breakfast full of whole grains and healthy fats. It keeps us full longer. Generally, we can make it till lunch or later in the day for a morning snack. The key is to really think outside the box. Don't lean towards your traditional toaster pastries or cereals or eggs. Really think about how to get in carbohydrates, healthy fats, and protein all in your breakfast. I promise it's going to set you up for a very successful day. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, hit the little subscribe button. I'd absolutely love to have you join my community. I will link Julian Bakery Granola down below for you guys. All of their flavors are delicious. I absolutely love the espresso, the peanut butter, and the vanilla cinnamon. They're amazing and very low calorie. You can have half of a cup for under 100 calories. So it's a great option for a granola for those yogurt parfaits. Don't forget to also check out the description box for my meal planner, nutrition coaching, as well as other links and discount codes to all of my favorite healthy things. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.